Is Jimmy taking you out on the town or something? Oh, like, you know what I mean? Because like, like, Jimmy seems seen? like he'd be good. Uh, he'd be a good wingman. That might be what's going on Let here. Me, I, it's Los Angeles. Welcome. Welcome to Hollywood. <laughs> there's there's stars everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm 35 years old. I'm over here. I'm busy. I'm booked and busy, honey. I don't have time to explain myself to y'all. It's really bad. Bad, 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 bad. Are you feeling good about it? Feeling froggy? Because I'm not. Would I have said that particularly? No, but I have said drop the address once. Someone could, you know. <laughs> misinterpret that as actually interpret it however you want to interpret it. I really don't care. I meant that. Drop the address. Are you still worried about Bam? Hell no. Exactly right. We got that Taylor boy down there. No, can you take a bathroom break? Can't take a bathroom break. That's a long wait, man. That's Football right. games last for a long time. I dream of the I dream before this game. I got girlfriends who are like, he is so good on paper. Wait, what does that mean? Like he got, he got a good job, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. he got a nice car, yeah, 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 yeah. he got a nice family. Handsome. He's tall. You know what I mean? He's in shape. Six foot. Six foot. Six foot. Six foot. You're deep. Crazy. Yeah. No, six foot. We lost you at all. I'm like, keep going, keep going, Joy. Keep building me up. It's fine. I'm fine. What y'all mad at me? So you're saying there's a chance. I am. I'm sober from Cowboys Juice for quite some time now. I feel good. Body's oh, joy. loose. Joy, I got you it. Know? I, got it. You know? <laughs> I got the bags on under my eyes. I'm feeling good. So I'm going to fight the urge. I really don't like admitting when Emmanuel is right. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's very rare, so it doesn't kill me too much. But no, I, I, I stay consistent with the sex scene. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. Topic. Okay. The topic. Right. Right. Stay with I was me. just saying. <laughs> you look we, put a, we put a lot of effort into this. Yeah, yeah. But it's like dating a Kardashian and being surprised that there's paparazzi. It's like birth control. But you're either pregnant or you're not. And that's what it is. Hell to the nom. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Very high tech. He got a laser. Both of us got these little like cannon, like boom, we gotta reload it, put the gunpowder in. It better be high tech. Laser like, beam. <laughs> cool. But are we, here, here's, what, here's what I'm confused about. As much credit as I give Mike McDaniel, because I have watched this team for 25 years, and it is remarkable the cultural turnaround that he has had there. As much as Mike McDaniel did an amazing job building it up in Tua, when you consider what Tua went through his first two years, they're being replaced by Ryan Fitzpatrick, not starting when he got there, then going in, then being replaced by Ryan Fitzpatrick, then spending the whole year talking about the Sean Watson. And then spending the rest of the offseason figuring out that they also wanted Tom Brady. He's constantly thinking he's going to be replaced. You have to be receptive to that kind of positivity, too. When you're that down, when you're that devoid of confidence, you got to trust again. And that's, that's really hard to do. You got to say, you know what, I'm going to believe this person and allow them to pour into me as well. Because it's hard to rebuild confidence when you've been beaten down like that. So I got to give two of the credit, the most credit, because he's the one that actually took that positivity and manifested it into the season that he's having now. What? What's really at stake is, is the playoffs. This right. is a game both of these teams very need much need to win. And because of that, it's going to be an intense matchup. It's not just that it's Tua and Herbert and the stories behind both of them and is Herbert just a social media quarterback and is Tua really a franchise guy after this loss last week to the Niners and is he going to be rattled? No, no, no. Both these teams really need to win this game. <laughs> like, this is a big, big-time matchup and has big playoff implications. So that's what's at really, truly at stake. And because there is so much at stake in this game in reality, football-wise, for the postseason, for both of these teams, how both of them plays will actually really be a part of what the story yep, is. Absolutely. So if Tua doesn't have to have some unbelievable, spectacular performance, and for that matter, neither does Justin Herbert, but if they play well enough to get their team to win, that's going to be a notch for them. Don't, don't, yeah. don't let this game be... A, be uh, ugly for either one of these quarterbacks because it's going to be so much more than just the narrative because this game has real implications.